So you may have noticed that I haven't uploaded many episodes in the past couple months. Mostly that's been due to personal reasons. Um, had a lot of personal things to attend to. But also I have taken down some previous episodes, which uh, if you have visited the podcast or the YouTube channel before, you may have noticed that those are no longer there. So I'm taking a step back for a little bit, and I'm going to kind of rethink some things. I'm dissociating from a group that I was previously a member of. And I don't want to get too much into uh, the particulars of this. It's uh, it's not really important in the grand scheme of things. And in the in the long run, many months or years from now, um, it's not really going to be that important. But I think I should say a little bit about it at the moment. So this organization has uh, weekly meetings that are recorded and made publicly available. And as I expressed to the organizer of these meetings, I said uh, several members have expressed statements in recent public meetings I find very problematic and that went largely unchallenged at the time. I can't be personally or professionally associated with such an organization. Some of the statements I was referring to, again, I don't want to get too much into this, but there were some statements made or narratives promoted that uh, I find problematic. There's also, um, this this group has taken to uh, semi-officially, uh, it appears, uh, endorsing a candidate for governor in the recall election, who is, um, has publicly stated that he does not really think secession will improve life for Californians um, because it will bring a a uh, so-called blue fascism that will be just as bad as the red fascism of America. I'm not quite sure exactly what he means by that. He's also um, repeatedly expressed many times, almost a catchphrase, that a vote for yes on the recall is a vote for yes for California independence, which is plainly deceptive. Obviously, that's that's not the case. Um, a vote for yes on the recall is a vote to simply remove the governor and replace him with uh, whoever is first in uh, the other slate of candidates, which there is no guarantee that this particular candidate would be first. So it is not the same thing, um, and I think that's uh, very deceptive. So for all these reasons, I, I just can't uh, continue to be associated with this group. Now, I am going to continue the podcast. Um, Like I said, I'm going to be on pause for a bit, kind of just uh, regrouping and rethinking uh, what I want to do. I want to continue my own commentary. I still have a list of various people that I've been thinking about for uh, a while that I want to invite on to to talk about different topics. And uh, I still have those people in mind. And I still plan on uh, going forward with that. But uh, for now, that's uh, where it stands. So I just wanted to kind of explain why there's been this large pause in new episodes and why previous episodes were taken down. Um, That's what's going on. And uh, going forward, uh, I'm not really going to say anything more about it. Uh, I don't think it requires anything more to be said. I'm going to continue on with uh, what I think is a good direction to go and what I want to do. I'll continue to reach out and work with people and organizations that share my values and that I think would be a productive collaboration. But that has to include severing ties to the organization I was previously involved in. So that is what I had to say. And I'm not going to say anything more about it.